Hey there Pisces, how are you? We're going to get started on your love reading for the month of August. Pisces, let's begin your reading by choosing a tarot deck. And I think I want to use the Everyday Enchantment Tarot again. I just got done doing Scorpio and this is the deck that I used. And I think I'm going to use it for you too. The Everyday Enchantment Tarot. All right, Pisces, let's see. What insight, foresight, guidance, revelations do we have for the zodiac sign of Pisces this month of August? What is the most important? Let's, let's see. What is the most important this month of August in Pisces uh, relationships in their love life? What do we have for Pisces this month of August in love and romance? Let's see, Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, of course, Pisces, Pisces, let's see, show me the present moment, show me the present moment, Holy Spirit, show me the present moment, all right, we have the Queen of Pentacles, this is um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, doesn't have to be. This is a very earthy person. Maybe this is you, Pisces, really getting into like fresh produce or something. Fresh today for sale. Talking about sales, guys, there is a sale happening right now on my website for a limited time. So if you wanna book a reading with me, you wanted to book a reading with me, this is a great time to do it because there is a sale going on on my website at votrevoyagetarot.com. Anyways, <laughs> fresh today for sale. So yeah, Pisces, I see you, many of you. Yeah, I'm getting like that you're getting like really into like fresh produce. Uh, there could be a farmer's market for some of you. It's, uh, maybe a lot of you, some of you are growing your own vegetables. You're wanting to. There is this uh, very earthy vibe that uh, you, somebody close to you has going on this month of, of August, my dear uh, Pisces. There might be some of you who like you you are really good at making something like food or, or there's something uh, that you're really good at that you can actually sell. Yeah, there's something here that you can sell, guys. There's something that you can make money off. Uh, some of you can make jams. I'm getting like I see jams like jars of something. It could be food or just some sort of product, something that um, you guys can can sell. Fresh today for sale, this Queen of Pentacles. Let's continue. We have the Ten of Cups, and here we have two people in the back, and we have these two kids there having a really good time, guys. Um, this is the present moment, fresh today. I feel like there's a whole lot of like fresh new energy for you guys that is very positive and very beneficial for your growth. If you have a family, this is something that is going to be influencing, impacting your, your family as well as your, if you don't have a family, your love life, okay, in a very, very positive way. So there's a lot of very positive and very good things unfolding at this very moment, guys, that are really grounding you and uh, I'm hearing uh, setting you setting you in, in reality it, it it really feels good this this 10 this 10 of cups guys okay this is the present moment guys we have the seven of pentacles and again we see it here there is somebody that has a stand is that a lemonade handmade crafts I'm telling you guys, there's there handmade crafts, 
handmade cra crafts there's a side hustle guys that many of you perhaps you're ready to put in the groundwork you're, you're you're ready to expand whatever that is maybe you're feeling a lot more positive about it like you know what yeah i can do this because that's that queen of pentacles energy like you see that person's like yeah like I, i'm doing this i'm happy like everything everything's good like their mind said is 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 positive positive so this is a person who is confident in their own abilities to manifest some sort of uh i'm hearing profit or reward something good and then we have the ten of cups right next to it and it's like oh look there's a rainbow in the back uh, this is a family this is a couple this is you this is your love life and gosh it's like the skies are clearing up because what comes after the rain the rainbow so for many of you, this is like the sky is clearing out. You're starting to feel more positive. You have more reasons to feel positive about like what's going on with you. I feel like this as well is encouraging you, my dear Pisces, to do something perhaps on the side to believe in yourself. The seven of pentacles, like there is... A stand there that says handmade crafts and there's a hand and there's money being given to this person and they're thinking they're thinking like hmm maybe like how much is this worth how much is this worth so like I feel like the question is being posed right now to you Pisces of like how much is this worth how much is your happiness worth how much value do you put on 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 your happiness the seven of pentacles this is a person look at that i'm going to show you guys because i feel like for many of you like these are things that you can you know be experiencing going through even thinking about this person to me it feels like maybe they're thinking how much is this worth how much is this worth how much should i let it go for and there's a person here with an offer like here like here you go so the seven of pentacles is it's some it's an offer i'm seeing it as an offer so there's definitely something of value here guys there is definitely something of value you need to start cultivating you need to start cultivating whatever this is i'm speaking with those of you that want to do some sort of side hustle or you're there's maybe a business something that maybe you're trying to sell something you're trying to do that is meant to bring in money for you as well as meant to bring in just a lot of like just just better days good times and happiness for you for your family for you and, and a partner that you have, or just, just you in general, guys. That is the present moment. And yes, this is this is a love reading, but I am noticing that spirit is um, focusing more on the individual. And I have no control. I have no control. I can ask the tarot, like, give me this, you know, and it happens all the time. They answer the question in another way. <laughs> So um, anyways, let me continue. That's the present moment, guys. We have the star. And here we have a young, a little girl that is giving a hand to this person. It looks like there's been a, a building has collapsed. There's been an earthquake. A bomb has gone off. Like who knows the reason why this happened, but there is a bunch of rubble and there's people under it. And there's this little girl that's going by and it's helping them out. So this is an opportunity, guys, for you to get out of, you know, um, a bad, let's say a bad situation. You have an opportunity here, guys, to get out of a situation that has not served you. This Out of a bad financial, perhaps, situation, you see, you have the opportunity, but you have to take this hand. Some of you, you might need help. You might need help doing this. You need help for many of you and for others of you, this help is being provided to you, is being given to you by, you know, the things that are happening to you around you. There's an opportunity, guys, do you see it for you to get out of this mess, for you to make it out. Many of you, you are trapped. Maybe you're feeling 
trapped in your career, trapped in a situation, maybe trapped even in a marriage. Absolutely, guys. Maybe even trapped in a marriage, especially so, right, if money is involved. And um, I mean, I see that all the time, right? M money is involved and there's a person thinking, okay, well, I need to start making my own money. Do you see that? Like you see this mother and the children and then you also see it here where there's just one person. So um, absolutely, guys, um, this is highlighting that. It's, it's time you started to cultivate. And for many of you, if you did already begin to cultivate this and nurture and grow and make something out of, you know, maybe an idea or something that you want to do, like I feel like it's already, uh, it's, it's flourishing and, and you're starting to feel really good about the entire thing. So for some of you, a selective few, this is for those of you who already have something materialized that, that, yeah, this is some, this is for those who already have something materialized and you've been doing it for a while. Um, you may consider the option of selling the seven of pentacles because that person is considering selling. You see, there's a bunch of hand, there's a hand there with a bunch of change. And even the dog's like, what you going to do? What, like, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? So yeah, for those of you that already have something, some sort of, of business and uh, you want to sell it, who knows, maybe you want to do something else or maybe you're just done with whatever that is. That happens, right? We pick up things and uh, well, we just want to move on to something else. If that's you, I feel like, absolutely, I feel like it's saying um, to consider selling. And well, the star is just to me saying that no matter, okay, what, is happening here. This is uh, something that um, you can remain hopeful about. This is something that is going to help you get out of a bad situation, regardless of what it is. Beautiful energy. Look at that, guys. That is the present moment. All right, let's put that in. What else do you want to tell Pisces? What else do you want to tell Pisces, Holy Spirit, about this situation, uh, about their love life, about their love life? <laughs> Let's see, Pisces. Thanks. Excuse me. What else? What else do we have to share with Pisces? What else do we have to share with Pisces? We have the Knight of we have the Knight of Swords. Okay, tell me more. I'll show you that card in just a few seconds. Let me just get another one. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. The Five of Cups. All right, guys, there's something here that's just not, you know, you're not feeling, guys. It's not working for you, and you might just be putting up with something or letting something happen because you don't want to maybe make somebody feel bad or, yeah, and I'll tell you why I said that. Look, this person is getting a haircut, and they do not look happy, but it looks like they're just letting that other person just continue cutting their hair, even though there's something that they're not liking, but they're, as we can say, they're staying silent, and this one's like, yeah, you know, let me do this, let me do that, and so this person's not happy. They're, like, not feeling it, so yeah, for many of you, I'm getting that, guys. There is a situation here, maybe a person, you know, that um, this is your love life, right? Uh, by the way, we have the five of cups right there. And there is somebody, it looks like they're over a tomb. So for many of you, this is, um, this is like you not feeling somebody anymore. Yeah, this is you, you look, whoever that is. Might be a hairstylist for many of you. You need to change your hairstylist because they, they're not, they've been slacking <laughs> or whatever they got. You, you've uh, transcended whatever, you know, styles that is. This Knight of Swords. Yeah, you see this, you're, you're not feeling something. You're not. You're not. And I feel like you might not, you, you might be going 
You might be letting something happen. You might be staying in a relationship and a connection in a situation, just something, right? A friendship. This is love and relationships. And we have all kinds of relationships in our life, friendship included. So this might even be a friend, you know, just it's a person and you just, you're not, you're not feeling it anymore, but you're staying quiet. You're not saying anything about it and you're just kind of like letting it happen. And what's going to end up happening here? Well, this person's going to walk out with a haircut that they hate. So this for many of you is just a situation that you're just, you know, you, you're really um, hating or going to end up hating because, well, it's like it, it, it should have, we could say a stop should have, you know, this person should have stopped them the moment that they weren't feeling it so that, you know, maybe there's another, you know, and they, the stylist could start doing something else that might work. But you see, I don't even feel like that's happening here. Look, the dog's back there like, uh, am I the only one that sees a problem here? Look, because this person sees absolutely no problem. So many of you, you're dealing with an individual person that if you let them, they'll just go on and go on, go on doing whatever the hell it is that they're doing that bothers you that you don't like. And they're not going to stop. Look, they're not going to stop unless you tell them. Unless you, you tell them. But um, I feel like it's that uncomfortableness there of like, just maybe voicing or stopping something, let, you know, letting someone go again, this is like letting a stylist go, but it's letting a person go or just telling them like, I don't like this. I don't like it. And then we have this five of cups. Well, I gotta let you go. I, 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 I gotta let you go because I'm not feeling this anymore. Like I don't, I'm getting a new hairstylist, okay? Like, I'm sorry. I'm getting a, you know, a new boyfriend, a new girlfriend. I'm just, 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 I, I just need, I just don't want this anymore. And it's the five of cups. And look, I feel like somebody, you might be staying quiet, my dear Pisces. Or for some of you, Crosswatcher, I mean, you might be staying quiet and you're not letting the Pisces know exact, exactly how it is that you feel. There might be somebody, right, Pisces, uh, for sure, that maybe is feeling like this way and they're not telling you something because, um, well, it's just that awkwardness that just, you know, it might be hurtful, is sad. Again, you know, imagine seeing a stylist. I've been in that situation before, guys, um, where I've been, I was seeing a stylist for a long time and then I found somebody else and it's just like, ah, you know, how do I, like you have, you know, you have them on social media and then they, you know, you miss your appointment and then they see you and your hair's done. You know, it's like, I'm oh, sorry. But again, for many of you, this is not about a stylist. It's, it's about your rom your relationships, your relationship with somebody. And look, they're sad. Like there, it's over. It's done. Like ah, uh, yeah. So for many of you, for sure, there's somebody here like not feeling something. They don't want to, you know. But they don't know how to say. Or maybe they do know how to say, but they're just trying to avoid. Because look, this one looks a little crazy. I don't know if you see it too. Don't they look a little... Uh, uh, I don't know about this one. This one looks... And it's the Knight of Swords. You know, the Knight of Swords is brash. The Knight of Swords. And look, they have the scissors. And it's like... And you could say this one doesn't want to say anything about something. Because they're like, oh no, they might do something bad to my hair. <laughs> They might do something bad to my hair. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't well, Maybe I shouldn't say anything, right? Do you see that? I can also see that happening here. <clears throat> maybe I shouldn't say anything because this one has scissors in their hands. And, uh, well, is the Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords is brash. The Knight of Swords is impulsive. The Knight of Swords uh, just does things without thinking about the consequences afterwards. So we're, there's a situation like that here too. 
whatever the case, guys, there's something that is not just working here and it's inevitable, right? There's like a loss. There's a mourning of some sort. Like it's just it's inevitable something here you see with this five of cups like it's not working out anymore i can't continue to put myself through this or like i can't continue yeah i just can't it's what i'm getting all right so tell me more about this situation so again i feel like that's what you're dealing with that's what we have going on with you pisces we have absolutely look that's you the hangman and you're just kind of like stuck there Look, this other person in the back is grabbing their head like, oh my God, you know, like, shoot, like, really, can man, like, really? There's another one back here grabbing their face like, oh my God. And at the very top, there is a dove that's flying away. Um, so, so one thing that I'm seeing in this card is, look, that looks like a person that just decided to do that. Because they're doing it. It's a bar and they're going there and they're like getting on there and doing this trick, if you want to call it, whatever the hell this is. It's a bar that's there and somebody, there's a bunch of people and then this hangman decides to get on it and put themselves upside down. So absolutely, this is, I feel like something that somebody is choosing where a lot of times the hangman is like a situation, a predicament that you're all of a sudden in that you didn't necessarily choose. But this hangman to me, I'm seeing it as like really, you're choosing to do that. That's what they're doing. There, there's a bar there and they're like, hey, let me stop here and let me hang upside down for a little bit because these don't, they don't get it. And they're like, why are they doing that? Like, why are you, why are you, why are you doing this? Like, why are you doing this? And look, here we have the seven of wands. There's a protest going on. You see, there's a lady there screaming and there's all this reinforcement. The uh, police is here trying to keep everything in control. For many of you, you're staying silent. You're choosing to not, uh, to put yourself through something that is not pleasant at all. Um, there's somebody here doing that, Pisces. And I truly do feel like it's, it's uh, in order to perhaps avoid any sort of backlash do you see the cop, the police is there? And this is the seven of wands, right? The seven of wands is, uh, like it is, it's, it's, well, here I see sort of like control and reinforcement that is needed in order to keep something under control because it can get out of hand. So that's what we have for many of you. You've been trying to use somebody here. Pisces has been trying to just maintain, um, maintain the peace at your expense though there is a quote out there that says like if you if you keep the peace it's only going to create a war inside you it's kind of like what i'm getting what is that quote uh let me see if i google that little phrase there if it'll give me some that quote if you keep the peace it will let's see No. Fell. I didn't get it. There is a, well, there is a, there's several quotes here, but I don't see any. You know which one I'm talking about. Anyways, yeah, so some I've heard I've heard a, a quote like that. Like if you you're always keeping the peace um for others. If you're always keeping the peace for others, you're you um are creating a, a war within yourself. It's kind of like what I'm getting here, guys. Again, we see it. Look, that person's not happy. Oh my god, like say something. Te van a dejar tras, uh, trasquilada. Trasquilada, I think that's how you say it, like when you get a bad haircut. <laughs> Te van a dejar trasquilada. 
which again is just like going to leave you with a real messed up haircut that just looks horrific. Like, say something, open your mouth, oh my God. Don't trasquilar. And then the Five of Cups. To me, it's like, it's that person. Look, now they're wearing a hoodie. Like, I hate my hair. <laughs> you know, like, I hate this. Like, oh my God, why didn't I say something? Why didn't I tell them to stop? No, you know, God, I'm mourning my hair. I'm more this morning, just this bad haircut look and I, I have to wear this big, you know, hoodie. I have to cover my head and damn, you know, this sucks. So many of you are, are there, you Pisces, somebody here is doing that. You are, are choosing to suffer. You're choosing to suffer just because maybe you don't want to make somebody else feel uncomfortable. There's somebody else maybe doing that to you for a selective few. I'm talking to the cross watcher now. Both scenarios are happening here. And look, you're, this person is choosing. Look, they're choosing to get on that pole there and to put themselves upside down. Look, the people back there, they don't understand it. That could be you not really understanding exactly. It's frustrating. Like, why am I doing this? Um, and then the seven of wands is here. I do feel like it's because, you know, there's somebody here, you Pisces, somebody is just trying to uh, keep this situation under control. Perhaps it's trying to keep one particular person or keep a situation from blowing up. Uh, and also because for many of you, this is, you know, something that will maybe offend or affect, you know, somebody else. And it's something that, you know, is for sure going to make somebody else, uh, maybe oppose you not agree with you they're going to push back it's they're going to make something difficult they're going again oppose you challenge you they're going to get difficult and for many of you somebody okay here is trying to uh, avoid all of that the seven of wands to me is also saying that there's a need here to speak up as well to speak up of um Speak up for yourself, whatever it is that you believe in. There's something here that you have to stand up for. And it's not easy, okay? It's not easy to stand up for yourself, especially this, like a protest. It's not easy. You're going to be met with opposition. And for many of you, this is something that requires inner strength, courage. Um, and it's something that you just kind of have to face face on and, and know, okay, just accept the fact that this is something I'm going to receive backlash on. I'm going to receive opposition from it. But you know what? It's something that just needs to be done. Like I need to speak my truth. I need to just say what's on my mind. I need to say how it is that I feel because the more I continue to just not say anything, the, the, the more I'm going to feel victimized and just messed up about the entire thing. Okay, let's continue. Tell me more. Tell me more. Do tell what else is going on here with Pisces. Let's see. Tell me more. Tell me more, Holy Spirit, about this situation. Tell me more about what's happening with Pisces. Let's see. Tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> I'm hearing a song from the movie Grease. <laughs> I'm hearing the rhythm. We have the Six of Swords. And then we have the Ten of Wands. Ah, uh, interesting. Look, Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is um like a... It's similar to the Eight of Cups in, in the way of like moving away from something. You see it here. You see how they're moving. They're moving towards. They're moving away from something. They're moving towards. And it's the Six of Swords. So the sword energy, of course, it has to do with mental energy. So for many of you, this is like moving away from, you know, all, all this heavy mental energy that just really... Um, causes you a whole lot of stress. Oh my God, you see it here? Absolutely, Pisces. I feel like there's been, there's a lot of things that are 
there's something okay could be a relationship a connection this is a love reading uh something that is just really something going on in a relationship okay that is really like weighing you down it's causing you a lot of stress it's, it's something very chaotic that is even many of you of starting is starting or has been affecting your job your work performance do you see it's like i feel like it's just something guys that again what did i say when you try to keep the peace around you when you try to keep the peace around you what ends up happening is that you create chaos within yourself and that's what i see happening here guys i see you guys just like you know, be some of you might have a whole like Libra in your chart, or there might be like a strong placement, Libra placement I'm getting for many of you. Because here it seems like you're just trying to just um um like you're putting up with something, you're I don't know, maybe avoiding, you're putting up with something and it's just like it, you're 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 just putting you're putting up with something 10 of wands and it's just it's i'm telling you if it has not begun to begun become too much it will it this if it has not again already affected your career and other areas in your life your entire world um it, it will start uh happening guys because this is something that is causing you stress this is causing you stress guys you know stress kills stress kills guys it leaves stress kills a lot of people but it's not the stress itself guys stress it attacks your immune system and it leaves the door open to disease and that's really what you know the disease is what kills many people but it's it's that um it's that stress that allowed you know this to 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 even happen so you see, this is about like just saying like, what do you really don't need all this stress? You don't need all this stress. Maybe that's how easy it is, guys, of just saying, I don't need this. Like what other reason is there? Many of you are you're trying to find a bunch of maybe reasons to not do something or do something. And when it's just as simple as I don't need this. I don't need this. This is choosing to say, I, I can move away from this. For many of you, that's what it is. It's like there is something that is not, um, you know, um, allowing you to like move on in peace. There's something that's not allowing you to move on in peace, guys, because that's what the Six of Swords is. This is a peaceful departure. But more so, it's it's not necessarily physical, guys. It's, it's mental, it's psychological. When you're able to just walk away from a situation without it weighing you down any further. Like this is somebody saying, you know what? I'm ready for this. Like this feels right. This is good. And you just kind of let something go that it was not serving you. And you have accepted that that's the best thing that you can do. And you're actually happy to move away from that mess. You don't need this damn mess. You don't, oh, I'm telling you, Pisces, you don't need this damn mess. You don't, you don't need to. Maybe there is many of you for sure after what we saw there with the seven of wands um, and the fact that somebody here is like staying silent and not sane and, and then just being left there feeling still, you know, dealing with the mess, like staying silent, it's not doing anything. Um, there might be somebody that is making you feel bad or making somebody feel bad. Um, guilt or stress. Sometimes that is what keeps people, you know, doing something repeatedly or not not changing because of you know the pressure others put on them and we see that here there's a lot of pressure being put on this one and this one's like oh my god I just I'm I'm out of it like I'm out of this is just too much 
Um, this as well could be future energy, my dear Pisces. For sure, I feel like it's present. It's also future for many of you. This is you like saying, you know what? I am ready to just release whatever this is. Some of you may also be releasing a job that's just become a little too much. It's just a little too much. And um, I've, I do see you finally like being okay with... Uh, going you know in a in a different di direction all right let's continue now for others of you especially for those of you that are leaving okay a situation a relationship a person this is do you see that that is them leaving you might be leaving with another person or um you know this is a family do you see it's like a family there um, the six of swords is just you leaving now whether there's a family there or not or there's another person I mean it's going to depend on who it is that you are but that is something that I see there and there's somebody else like you know just it's just hitting them like what like there's not I feel like they feel overwhelmed by the entire situation and it's something that is just like hitting them like oh my god you know like they're leaving or they don't care anymore they don't care anymore they don't care they're fine with doing this okay we, we have the five of cups again we have the five of cups again this is future energy for many of you and you know this is what i feel was trying to be avoided from the get-go it's like this this loss this this sadness whatever this is and whatever it represents it's just a loss and it's maybe not wanting someone to feel bad maybe it's not even about that but whatever the case it was being somewhat avoided there at the beginning for whatever reason and there it is what did I say is inevitable, right? Like it's something that uh, inev inevitable is something you can't, uh, it's going to happen. I'm telling you, it's going to happen because whoever is, if there's somebody just taking all, is just not doing, not saying anything. It's just um, because it's gradually accumulating and it feels like somebody's head's going to explode and it will eventually. And that's when they're going to say, I've had enough of this and I'm just moving away. And, um, and, and, and if this is you, Pisces, I see you just kind of like moving forward and just accepting the fact that, well, let's just say things happen in life, you know, and you're not, you're not, things happen and well, you're not responsible. You're not responsible for people's healing in a sense in this situation because it, it seems as though you have been unable to heal yourself by you know staying in a bad situation because it's the six of swords so that means that this person is leaving the five of swords and the five of swords is a messed up ass situation that it it just does not serve you so many of you could be dealing with a person uh, that just does not care about you where you're coming from or what it is that you need or how hard this is for you. And well, this person doesn't, it's not that they don't care. The six of swords, the six of swords is not a, a, a vindictive or like a careless card. This person is just saying, I accept that I have to, I have to just move forward. That's what that one's saying. I just accept that this is the way it is and there's things that I cannot control and there's things that I should not uh, have to, you know, um, put myself through more than I what I should, you know, have to just, just because I don't want to make somebody feel some way. However that resonates, okay? I'm just going to leave it at that. All right, what do you want to leave my dear Pisces with, with? Foresight, Holy Spirit. This is foresight for Pisces. Let's leave Pisces with something that they can look forward to. Let's leave Pisces with something that they can look forward to. So this is foresight. Let's see. 
this could be you know towards the end of august and even further this is this is just something that i want to leave you with my dear pisces that is going to uh, give you something to look forward to all right let's see well damn look it's right there it's that damn five of swords i'm telling you it's right there it's that damn five of swords for many of you you're dealing with a five of swords situation which is something that no matter what it doesn't serve you from beginning to end nowhere in the middle and it's i do see somebody staying in a situation with a person a nasty ass person oh my god that person to me is just vile they look mean vindictive and just unruly and and um they look like bullies they look like they have an acid tongue like some of the things that come out of their mouth are just cruel and nasty this is a careless selfish individual very super dominating and controlling and vindictive you see yikes it's the five of swords there it is guys there it is that is the same person for many of you that uh, you're trying to take it easy on. For many of you, that's the person you're trying to take it easy on. This Five of Swords is um, that person we saw there cutting somebody's hair. And you're not wanting to say anything because you don't want to hurt their feelings or you don't want to make them feel this or that. But that person, look, Five of Swords, they don't give a damn. In if the scenarios were switched, okay, and this person was in your position, they will tell you straight up, this ain't working for me. And they'll tell you with like an attitude and they won't even take any consideration for your feelings, okay? The five of swords, if the tables were turned and the scenarios were swapped, look, five of swords. So... That's what many of you are dealing with. You're dealing with that kind of person, guys. You're, and many of you deep down inside, you know it. And that is why you're, somebody here is tippy toeing or whatever you wanna call it, whatever word you wanna use. That's why they're doing that. Because they know there's some backlash. There could be a vindictive, nasty person here. Right. And again, there's a spectrum. There is, you know, some that will really be very vindictive and do some nasty vow things on the more in the extreme spectrum. Now, those of you that are, you know, somewhere in the middle, you know, you might just, you know, get maybe like like bullying or just some uh, like strong opposition. And then on the lighter note, you might just get a foul mouth, you know regardless it's still the same energy it's 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 nasty and and it's uh domineering it's controlling it's vindictive and uh well look that's what we have here guys just so you know that's future energy and i do feel like there is something here that's trying to be avoided and i do fr frankly i do feel like it's this one like you're trying to avoid this monster coming out at all costs but Again, seven of wands, you have to stand out for many of you to somebody, to something, and you're just like, expect some backlash. That's what we saw there in the seven of wands. We saw a bunch of police officers that, you know, are there to control the situation. And when that happens, when there's a protest, you should expect backlash. Things might get out of hand a little bit, but that's just the nature of the situation. And that's what I feel here, guys. It's just the nature of what you're dealing with. And there's a need to stop um, to to end this already because it's it's become a, it's just too much for you guys already. And it's, it's not going to change anything. The outcome I'm hearing is going to be the same. It's going to be this monster. The outcome is going to be the same, whether you take it easy on them or whether you take it easy on this or whatever this is or not, whether you stay longer or not, whether you do this or not, the outcome is all the same. This nasty monster, 
So there's a need to be brave, to, to do what you feel is right, to follow your intuition, again, to be courageous and be brave and to just kind of like confront something already. Because whether you do it, you know, whether you did it yesterday already or whether you do it today, tomorrow or a year from now, it's going to be the same. It's going to be the same outcome, we could say which is this nasty one here. I mean, but don't let this person scare you. Yeah, maybe like all they have going for themselves is just that they're mean. That's it. Like, don't let this person intimidate you. Don't let them bully you. Like, show them that you're not scared of them. Show them you're not afraid. Like, confront this person. I'm telling you, I'm getting the feeling that's all you got to do. You just got to show this person a mean face right back and they'll start backing off. Look, there's a hornet there, guys. There's a giant hornet. So this could be a swell person with like just like a very nat. This is a very nasty attitude, guys. <sighs> okay, so here we have another card and it's it it uh it's reversed. Look, here we have the... Here we have the two of cups. So this is the bottom of the deck. This card turned over. So this wants to come out and look the rest of the deck. But here at the front of the deck, we have the two of cups. Let's put that there. This is the eight of wands. Guys, the eight of wands is just like doing something. Is, is doing something. Here we have some sort of delivery again. Didn't I say something about selling? Um... Again, many of you, there's something you're selling. Maybe there's a house or a property or just something that you're selling, um, something that you want to do or that you're doing that another po person opposes. Um, there could be a, a letter, some communication, something that is received that I feel like brings in good news. You see, there's a mailman there. They're giving this person some letters and this one looks very happy. And here we have a sign. So there might be the selling of something, a house, perhaps a home, uh, receiving communication. Now the eight of wands as well is representative of like just, I like to see it like this. It's just like an energy that moves uh, forward. So um, for many of you, I feel like what this is saying is like, I feel just move forward guys again. This is not going to change. I'm telling you, we saw that six of swords. It's something you just have to accept. There is no fixing this. And for many of you, it's not yours to fix. So eight of wands, this is, I feel like advice as well as future energy. I mean, I do see you going for something. This is saying, go for it. Like just, just move forward already. It's the eight of wands. The eight of wands again is this look it just goes it just goes again communication being received as well something being sold there's good news being received and of course i'm hearing this is not going to change that five of swords is going to stay the same and uh for many of you again this is a love reading so we have the two of cups guys we have a, the two of cups there might be a same-sex relationship here um or there may they there may not is the two of cups. This is for me again. This is a love reading, guys. So you this is for many of you. This is somebody that you're with. Jesus, that's somebody you're with. That's somebody you're with. I'm getting that this person has some nasty people in their family too. Like they get that nasty attitude from somebody from their family. Like there's something about their family. Like they all have the same damn like crappy face. Like they're smelling poo poo. Like they all have that face. Um, for many of you, I'm also getting, you know, maybe this person is not like always a crappy person, but they're always going to be a crappy person about whatever this is. And well, here with the two of cups, guys, um, I, well, there's a, there is, um, a, a harmonious, uh, 
I do see you making harmonious connections with others, guys. This is also distressing. Like, look, these two people here look like to me, like they're just happy. They, you know, they're everything's not necessarily everything, but for the most part, everything's good in their lives. And they don't have anybody down their throat behind their back, just bickering and like bothering them, causing them stress. These are two people that are able to relax and just, you know, enjoy a drink and enjoy conversation outdoors. And they just look like they're having a good time. And yeah, so I do see many of you doing that, guys. Just being happy, connecting with other people, perhaps one person in, 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 uh, in specific in your love life and you're just like just happy to just have a decent conversation with somebody and 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 be interested and it just feels good it feels harmonious and and it's something that you like it's something that you want to do again it feels right you want to do it like you're actually doing something you want to do so that's it this is you doing something you want to do that feels right and it makes you happy and look there's nothing stressing you out beautiful energy that's how i'm going to leave your reading guys let's get some oracle cards to close the reading let's get some cards from here this is the amira's love oracle cards pisces let's see amira's love oracle cards if you want to book a reading with me, Pisces, you can do so by going to the link down below in the description box. It's going to take you to VoucherVoyageTarot.com where you could book a private reading with me. And again, if you didn't catch it earlier, guys, I have a sale going on right now on my website, VoucherVoyageTarot.com. If you want to book a reading, you've been wanting to book a reading with me, but you have not been able to. This is a great time to do it. To take advantage of of the cell that is here for a limited time it's going to only be around a couple of weeks spiritual growth there's a lot of spiritual growth happening guys there's a money opportunities money that is going to be coming in so there's just like overall growth and expansion happening in your life both spiritually in your relationships in your life in general in your career as well wealth luck and finances there's a uh, there's a pouring in of abundance of good luck guys for you Finan uh, finances as well I feel like are looking up we saw that that started off we saw this energy at the beginning of your reading spiritual growth learning expanding the soul absolutely many of you are expanding your consciousness there's a lot of spiritual growth that you're making in your life again both spiritually and just overall in in overall there's a lot of growth and expansion that you are creating have created that you are working on at this time and as a result i do feel like it's going to um make way make space for good things to start pouring in we have communication and it says texting, phone calls online. So there is important communication. We saw it in the Eight of Wands with the mailman. So uh, there is uh, communication here, guys, that you're going to receive. There's just communication. It could be a text, a phone call, maybe an email online. There is uh, something of significance, of importance that uh, someone, okay, something you're going to receive uh, communication from that is just that is coming out here there's gossip as well Ugh. and we have twin flame here it's a spiritual alignment effortless and karmic for many of you um there is a twin flame a, a divine union connection a higher commitment here that is of significance and uh, with this gossip i feel like this is a connection a relationship or a situation which there is a lot of gossip you know revolving this this you this twin flame connection this person this situation or there will be a lot of gossip that will be created from that will be created by some people okay let's get some more cards
Let's get this one, and then let's get this one. The Key Oracle deck. The Key Oracle deck. It is... I started off my day a little bit late today because I had to go meet up. Uh, I had a meeting uh, earlier today, which took most of my morning. And then, well, I started off my day pretty late. So it, what time is it? I think it's 5, five something. And by this time, I like to be done with readings with work. But I'm feeling quite energetic. But I'm done. After you, I'm done. All right. This is the key oracle deck, unlocking answers for self-healing. Close the message for Pisces, passion, ignited desire. So that goes with like that twin flame energy there at the bottom, at the end. Live with passion by stepping into what feeds your soul and gives you joy. This is also highlighting whatever we saw there at the beginning, which for many of you is some sort of side hustle, some sort of creative endeavor, something like that for some of you. Live with passion by stepping into what feeds your soul and gives you joy. When you choose to make room for this in your life, the universe responds by creating opportunities that support your soul, purpose, and passion. Didn't I just tell you guys like that, you know, you like you're doing a lot of, you're expanding, you're expanding, you're expanding your consciousness. There's a lot of spiritual growth that is happening, which in turn is really creating a lot of space for a lot of other new positive uh, uh, things to come into your life. Live with passion by stepping into what feeds your soul and gives you joy. When you choose to make room for this in your life, the universe responds by creating opportunities that support your soul and purpose and passion. So that's what many of you need to do ultimately, right? Just start like live with passion by stepping into what feeds your soul and gives you joy. And for many of you, you have not been doing that. You have not been making room for these things that bring you passion, that ignite your soul, that make you feel alive, that give you purpose and feel you, yeah, that just you're passionate about. Old conditioning. <clears throat> and it says, it's time to release old conditioning and to step into the new way of being. Oh, absolutely. It's time. I did. Yeah. It's time to release old conditioning and to step into the new way of being. The old story and past cycles of blame, shame, and guilt need to move out. Take inventory of what no longer resonates and what isn't your burden to carry. That goes. Both of these cards go. And I'm going to read this one too, guys. Let me put this here. It's time to release old conditioning and to step into the new way of being. The old story and past cycles of blame, shame, and guilt need to move out. Take inventory of what no longer resonates and what isn't your burden to carry. Unload what has been weighing you down. Hello. My hair's a mess, guys. Like, I'm just threw on a t-shirt today. My Ozzy Osbourne shirt. Yes, I do actually listen to Ozzy Osbourne. I listened, first started listening to Ozzy back when I was in, like, what, middle school, high school. And, uh, well, I really enjoyed his music. I love classic rock, 80s rock, and uh, I'm a huge fan of Ozzy Osbourne. I don't have posters of him, you know, around my house, you know, but I I like Ozzy Osbourne. I love his music, and this is my Ozzy Osbourne shirt. <laughs> All right, protection needed, shield. And I'm reading this because... I, it, I saw an angel and it said protection and I remembered that five of swords that nasty person and for many of you there is it's like there is like you, whoever that was that was staying silent or was a little apprehensive here they know that there is a need for, you know to do that a little bit for sure but it's like you can't forever do that especially when you're dealing with someone in like five of swords it means that there's no working nothing out with that person. Nothing. They're not, they're, they're nothing. 
Protection needed shield. It is vital at this time to protect your energy field as others may be projecting negative energy onto you. You also may be in an environment for which you are absorbing negative vibes that are draining you for sure. Call in Archangel Michael for protection and to clear your energy field. Having a practice of grounding and putting a protective bubble around you every day will be helpful. I, guys, y'all really need to uh, start uh, clearing your energy because I do that anywhere the five of swords is, it's a negative influence, it's a negative energy and it, it drains you. It's incredibly draining. Oh my God, did you see the, that person in the five of swords, the chef with the knife? That looks like a person that nags you all the time. So there is a need to, um, to clear your energy because of the people you are around, the person that's around you, somebody that you're dealing with because of the situation, because it is, you are absorbing this, this energy and it's meant, like I do feel like whoever's projecting this negativity is meant to infiltrate your space to control and manipulate and influence you. So protection is needed, a grounding practice, guys. Just sit down somewhere quiet. Don't even listen to anything, anything, anything. What was I going to say there? <laughs> Just um, sit down in a quiet place and start taking deep breaths. Hold it and release do that for you know as much as you can and before you know it you're going to be relaxed and then just kind of like quiet down you could lay off the heavy breathing for a little bit and just start breathing normally and just sit there in silence guys do it for like 15 minutes 20 minutes and that in itself is really going to clear out your energy it's just it's having it's having to ground you it's just focus on grounding all right i want to get one more card from another deck Oh, and I guess it's going to be this one. This is the Shine from the Inside Oracle Cards and Guidebook. All right. So, yeah, I feel like my hair. Well, I'm usually all dressed up. And that is usually how I am, guys. I like to just, uh, I like to look good. I've always, I've always been that way. And in fact, not being dressed up is unusual. So this is actually unusual for me, but I am human, I am normal. And I do have days where I'm just like, hey, I just wanna throw on a t-shirt and my hair is, uh, doesn't look bad, does it? <laughs> we have, trust your intuition, she's always right. So trust your intuition, guys. And well, for many of you, your higher self is a she. Doesn't have to be okay, but look, maybe there's masculines here that really connect with their feminine side. Your intuition, trust your intuition, my dear Pisces, okay? Trust your intuition, whatever gender, if any, okay? It has, like just trust it. It says, allow unlimited abundance. Allow a limit, unlimited abundance. Trust your intuition, she's always right. And allow ultimate abundance. I wanna get one more card. So you see, allow, allow, that word's really standing out. So allow ultimate abundance for me represents like you choosing, like choose to allow this. All you have to do is like allow it to happen. I mean, so get out the way and allow this abundance, unlimited abundance to come pouring into your life. You've already expanded your consciousness. You've done a lot of spiritual growth. So there's room, there is room there for, for abundance, for unlimited abundance. You just got to say, all right, let it pour in. And don't forget to listen to your intuition because it's guiding you in the right direction. Don't doubt your intuition, whatever it is that you're feeling, allow your higher guidance to propel you, guide you forward. We have stop judging and start loving. This wanted to come out because I saw it at the very bottom before I started shuffling and I almost reached for it, but then something said, no, just shuffle. And here it is, guys. Stop judging and start loving. Stop judging and start loving. How does that resonate with you, Pisces? Stop judging and start loving. 
Many of you have been living under a whole lot of judgment, your own and other people's judgments, and you've been allowing um, that to dictate, you know, your life. And I feel like the message here is to let go of what, you know, those judgments of yourself and, you know, judgments that others have confined you in with, or, you know, that, that have been judgments that others have um uh, put on you like let that go and well it says start loving start loving i'm hearing it's that easy guys stop judging and start loving yourself stop judging others and start and start loving others for who it is that they are start seeing the beauty in others no matter how different it is that they are from you and and you know respect others and also remember right that you as well deserve love and, and not judgment. I'm hearing from the person that loves you and, and from those around you. Stop judging and start loving. This is what I have for you, my dear Pisces. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was an honor and my pleasure. You guys take care, okay? Bye-bye.